So yesterday we went to explore new trails. I ended up in the Chino Hills Grand Avenue Park. And there's a couple of trails that connect to that park. Um, so in my 10 mile ra uh, training run, I'm gonna make that park my home base so I don't have to carry all the water, all the nutrition, everything I need for the day. I, gotta I can do a change of clothes and shoes and socks and whatever else I need. The only problem is they only open at 7 a.m. So, I'm exploring new trails in Chino Hills. There's a little trail off of uh, Grand Avenue. And uh, you know what? This is going to be an interesting trail to cover. It's, uh, you know, the the ter ter terrain is similar as the one as the the trailer run I want to do so and it's got a nifty little uh how would you say spooky <laughs> side to it I'll show it to you in a minute it was kind of creepy but uh it's not a big deal. Okay, I'm going to pay attention to what I'm doing, going. I don't want to roll my ankle. Okay, I'm going to show you. So as you come down this thing, it literally goes under the Grand Avenue. I mean, it's not a very long uh, tunnel or anything. I mean, it's fairly clean. There's nobody around. You can see the other end of it. But... I'm definitely going to want like a little flashlight so I can see my footing. Uh, there's, uh, okay, I'm going to spook myself now. But there's snakes in this place. So I kind of want to be alert for that when I come back down with Monty. I'm sure they're not here right now because people have been coming and going. But I don't know. I mean, you know, I can obviously see both ends of it, but it's a little disturbing. I gotta say, that kind of puts me a little bit out of my comfort zone. So I said, evidently people have come in from the, uh, the other side. I wonder if you could park in the street and come down this way so you could start earlier. But I gotta tell you, it's a little lonely. So I'm not sure that I would want to be here any earlier than what these people opened this trail for. It's a little spooky. Uh, it's very exposed. So sunscreen water what I could do is make loops make the park my home base and just come back around and around and that way I don't have to carry all the water with me cuz that could get heavy all right thank you I ended up working out even though I didn't feel like it. okay so this loops back around to the actual park and uh, to the little they have a little playground you know what? I'll show you the thing. It says the trails hours. So I guess you could come down to the park. The only thing is, like I said, it's summer, so it's getting a little. Can you see it? Okay. So we're going back up the exit. I mean, you're in the neighborhood, but still, it's nice. But it's deep. <laughs> 